Hey, 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 Wacky Wednesday. Now wacky, is it? Well, just knowing that today is Wednesday and yesterday was actually Tuesday, and I know for sure Thursday's coming up tomorrow. That's how wacky it is. But there's other people in my life that thought Tuesday was Monday. And then Monday they thought was Wednesday. So there's something going on in the time warps right now, which is really irrelevant because in the grander scheme of things, time is irrelevant. It's kind of been created for us so that lights are synchronistic, draw bridges go up, people show up on time, blah, 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 blah. Everybody takes a turn day and night, you know, so it all has its place here in the three dimensional world in which these physical bodies live in and how's our spirit all nestled up in this physical beautiful avatar that we are supposed to be taking really good care of because this is our vehicle that protects and houses our life force energy physically mentally emotionally spiritually etherically universally so how are you all doing on this wacky Wednesday so today I just finished a beautiful little quick video with Selene we are promoting um, a video series in which she did called the return of the divine feminine it is on Gnostic TV Gnostic TV is a newer platform that's allowing people to speak out uncensored so it is going to cost a little bit of money because it's being produced and you know you've got to pay pay for the search engines and the platforms and all the licensures and so the, the nominal fees for what you pay for to listen to some of us just covers barely the grassroots of what it takes to actually produce any of these productions. All right. So Return of the Divine Feminine on Gnostic TV. It's about nine hours worth of some amazing women that Selene pulled together so that we could all speak about where we are in the universe right now and how important it is that we open up and blossom to the divine energy that is available to us that comes through us that produces unconditional love that produces more peace that gathers and mothers one another masculine energy generally stands for fight, flight, freeze, wanting to conquer, death and war, um, solicitation, um, using sexual energy as weaponisms. Um, the list goes on and on and on. And so it's very distorted from what the divine actual masculine energy is. Now this has nothing to do with your genitalia. Although feminine bodies come in with more feminine energies, masculine bodies come in with more masculine energy, physically usually larger, more muscle mass, um, and they can dominate in a different way. But that domination has been used to enslave, to conquer and enslave. And we see where it's gotten us. We see where religions, where wars, where one-sided thought processes where you've had to dominate and kill off anyone who didn't believe in what you believed in. Christianity was based on that too, by the way, and don't let any of that fool you because it was, how do we spread it? We got to kill people off. Um, so most religions and in order to get bigger and better territories, they had to go dominate smaller villages and kill people off. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and that's not the mother protective energy the mother protective energy wants everyone to live in harmony and peace and to have respect for one another and you know you got to be pretty damn deviant and manipulative in order to want to conquer and to make everyone be like you when actually the divine mother wants to sit in peaceful harmony and bliss and just share the love and just share 
the food, the nurturing, the nutritional support from the heart center. And you know, when I was taking a walk last week, spirit was showing me how the vagina and the penis used to be the lock and the key. And that's how for thousands and thousands of years, it's either brought a man to his knees and a woman in domination, again, off kilter of the energies, but that's how you were operating the world all the way up until today. And so that lock and key is now being elevated and moved up into the heart center. And so if you really look at all of the chakras, the heart center is the middle chakra. And it's what connects the upper chakras to the lower chakras. And it all comes together in this place, in this space, creating more of that innate source light divine energy that is housed in each and every one of us in these physical avatars that we house and place our divine consciousness into. And so it's going to require awareness of what divine energy means for a male species and for a female species because the world can't operate without either. And so the more we harmonize together and realize our places in this divine energetic union, we can operate from a higher standpoint, a higher elevation, closer to what source really created us to do. And so that is the energy that's here on this planet now becoming more aware. And so the Gnostic TV has produced Return of the Divine Feminine, hosted by Selene, and bringing more awareness to this energy. So I'm going to post our video out, just, just a little 15 minute, and then this video, and uh, just to get you to come have a look-see. So it says $59, but there's a $10 coupon when you go to check out. And it really supports more of this uncensored availability of information that can flow through without the hindrance of persecution and being silenced. And then eventually the more we can do this, the more it will become available at no money exchange. And that's really the goal. So I'll have the link in the description. Um, you know, I'm not here to energetically lasso you and tell you how this is so fantastic and lure you in. I want you to be drawn to it and see if you're cellularly resonating with just wanting to have information that's more empowering and uplifting to you while the world is going through its turmoil and its changes. How can you be the best in this moment? How can you be the commander and the controller of your dials? How can you steer this vehicle through the waves of lumps and bumps and still carrying the energy of love, peace, harmony, and balance in all things. So I hope that you join me and others on Return of the Divine Feminine on Gnostic TV. The link is in the description. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Feel free to gift it to someone that may be just sitting at home and doesn't have a lot to look at. You know, I do elder care and I see some of them just flipping TV channels because they're just so bored. And wouldn't it be nice if maybe they could listen to something that brought them more peace or maybe awakened cells within themselves that brought more life force energy to them? So maybe you could gift it to someone, a mother or a grandmother or great aunt, whoever might be in that upper registers of age <laughs> or not 
you know. A lot of people are in retirement that need a little something else to look forward to each day. That could help them be a better person because they're entering a different age that is supposed to be more golden, more enlightened. So if we can diamondize and crystalline our energies to lighten and brighten our physical density, how much beautiful and lighter and brighter will the world be? I say quite a bit. All right. See you guys on the next video. Bye.